Well, hello, my keto community. My name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto Under 20, just for today, because that's all we have. And um, please excuse the casual look. I'm about ready to go to the rec center to do some walking. Congratulations, Melinda, on your gym membership. She's treating herself, and she's going to do some water aerobics. I love that. Yesterday, I did a half hour of Pilates at home here with my mat and my Luther Vandross. <laughs> and um, today I'm going to the rec to do my 45 minute fast walk around the rec, track, around the track, around the track, around the track. And um, then I'm coming home and nestling in and watching the weather station because we're due to get a big one. There's a big storm. Oh my God. So anyway, um, Today for dinner, I made little individual quiches. I love that. And this is what I put in mine. Um, organic Swiss chard in the bottom. I saute that in coconut oil. And then I put two ounces of um, uncooked cauliflower crumbles. Then I put, put um, two and a half ounces of corando ham. Then I put four asparagus, lightly roasted, and then chopped up on top of that. I will add two... Pete and Jerry jumbo eggs, kind of, you know, stir them up a little bit, put it in, and then two ounces of organic Valley Munster cheese on top to get all nice and bubbly. And along with that, I will have a medium size salad, 30, oun 30 ounces, 30 grams of watercress, 30 grams of organic baby spinach, and 40 grams of Olivia's spring mix. And and one ounce of Organic Valley feta cheese on top of that, and one and a half tablespoons of the macadamia nut and the um, Evo organic olive oil uh, put on top of that. And my calories are under 1,500. My carbs are under 12. I think my fat's around 112, and my protein is around 53. So I'm very, very excited about that. So today I went shopping at Stop and Shop and Star Market. I did not go to Whole Foods. And I used my uh, Keto Under 20 bags that kind of match this in reverse. The bags are black with white Keto Under 20. Nobody stopped me. So I got some Vital Pastures. Those are the, that's that real quirky, funny, um, organic egg company where they, um, the girls, they talk about the girls all the time in um, their newsletters. So their vital, um, their their um, organic pasture raised butter is on sale for three sixty nine for two sticks. So that's eight ounces. So I now have three of those. The sale is over on Friday, and I have um, three packages of those. I did get some more Lakewood organic lemon juice, and I got. Two more watercress and one um, also cellophane package of the um, arugula, baby arugula. And so I am all set for the big storm. And um, I love I love bad weather. And and I don't think it's going to be affecting me going into work um, for my midnight shift on Friday morning. So I will get up Thursday night to go in for the Friday shift. So we'll see. It's supposed to start tonight, I guess, which is Wednesday night. But by the time you're seeing this, it's going to be long gone. And maybe we'll, you will have had a few more on top of it. So, um, yeah, what will I do when I go to the rec center? Will I listen to music or somebody's podcast? It all depends. Oh, and I also got four Mountain Valley sparkling waters, too. That sale ends also on um, Friday or tomorrow, Thursday at the end of the day. And so I just like to have, you know, plenty of choices in the house. And so I'm not buying as many eggs as usual because I'm not having eggs for my first meal and then dinner for my second. I'm down to the one, one meal a day. And Melinda, um, said I must have planted a seed because she's, um, had OMAD a couple of times, a few times and really likes it. And anybody that has done it, I've heard how much they like it. And you know, when I went into having one meal a day, the reservation was in. I didn't want to be like, 
you know, committed to anybody. The reservation was in that, like, if I don't like this, I can still have two meals a day and maybe just alternate and everything else. But um, although there was a little bit of getting used to, a little bit of, like, missing the meal that I had at noon, which was mostly out of boredom, mostly out of routine, and then just going to that one nice and plump meal with plenty of oils and butter and fat and and oomph in it, you know, a really um, satiating one meal a day, I can't turn back. And so what's, what it's doing to me is making me much more productive in my active part of the day, which is always in the morning. And then um, like right now it's 11 o'clock, I'll go to the rec center, I'll be home by 1230. And then it's my downtime. You know, I can do things like I don't know, put away the Christmas wrapping stuff. I don't know, vacuum. I don't know, just be home type stuff. And I really like that. Um, it, it just fills my day in such a nice way. And then uh, Greg and I eat around three in the afternoon, which is perfect. And, um, and he tries to be very accommodating. He starts his work day early in the morning. So it's this you know, same kind of deal for both of us. And so it works. I love the one meal a day. My hands are just, I'm looking down at them. They're just taking a beating with this cold, dry weather. And if I thought it was cold at 30, I can only begin to, to look at you and say, when it's 10 below zero with wind, yeah, now that's cold. But I'm fine. And um, in that paper that comes out once a month um, locally that you grab as you're leaving the store. Um, the headline is, is that complaining makes you sick. So I can't complain about the cold weather. I can only note it, right? Because I don't want to complain. I don't want to be sick. Um, so life is good. Keto, OMAD is good. Um, doing my videos every day is good. Keto coaching business is off to its start. And um, I'm hoping to be building that, ketocoachingsarah.com, if you're interested. And so I'm, I'm just having a grand old time feeling totally uh, freed up from the whole getting the cottage ready to leasing up the uh, tenant to um, the Christmas thing and, you know, slowly disseminating everything. And it's just all good. Now it just seems like there's some nice... Um, Sarah time, and I love some Sarah time, hence the Pilates yesterday and the walking around the wreck today. So I'm feeling good, feeling active. This is it. I began reading in the um, Batitudes. <laughs> oh, I love this book. And let me tell you that so far, um, I'm a few pages into the 20 page chapter on aspartame which is going to be the next Sarah school. I don't think that there's, I don't, I haven't heard of it yet, but I'm thinking that there is no more politically involved um, push and manipulation and control as there is with aspartame. They must have the goods on somebody or some drug companies are paying them to shut up. And um, those lobbyists, they, they, they have no shame. You know, talk about prostitutes. They just like open up their hands, open up their mouths like the baby bird needing to be fed something. And they take those amazing, amazing payoffs to sway who they represent in Congress and the Senate to just mm, go along to get along. Everybody gets big, fat, and happy with the standard American diet and checking accounts that have have no ceiling, apparently. So it's a very interesting chapter, and I think I'm going to divide it up between the scientific and the political, because it's that fascinating. But not today. Today, I am going to go walking. I told you my food. I told you my calories are under 1,500. I gave you a little bit of my macro. Um, yeah, under 13 carbs. Um, 112 fat and something like 53 or 54 grams of protein. And it's a nice combo that I like. Tomorrow is, is weigh-in day. And so we'll see 
what that says too. So until then, my turtles, my pickles, my snowflakes, have a wonderful day. Keto on, stay calm. Don't get obsessed with the scale. Not worth it. Just keto on. One woman is putting a yarn around her waist as her measurement. So it doesn't even say how many inches her waist is. It's just at what point is the yarn. It's kind of interesting. I don't know how it will all play out, but it was just interesting. And because um, we need to get away from the obsess obsession about our shape and be grateful for the health benefits because there's nothing else like them. So I will see you the next time. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto, happily under 20, going along with plenty of fats and, and being sated, nothing else like it, contentment. Mm -hmm. It makes me purr. I will see you the next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.